we've had hardly any rain for a couple of days or so now so the tiny brook has been reduced once again to a, a trickle the common denominator for me though whatever the the state of the water I'm after sticklebacks <laughs> and I'm casting out into inches of clear water and immediately I'm getting the fish around the maggot but I've said recently probably every time actually you can't overstate that I'm not letting them take the the maggot itself I don't want that to happen I would sooner just lift from the water and have fish come off rather than them take the maggot down and you have to be poking around with a disgorger even though I have got one and it's a very a small disgorger the smallest I've got nevertheless I don't want to do that anyway definitely interest and definitely I will be back with a three spined stickleback here you are the first one and I will hold that up there to the camera and the hooker's connected just very very gently though as always even if they do take the hook you want to make sure that it's not deep with the second fish it's also the case taking the hook there but once again really easy to separate the hook the size 18 Drennan super specialist from the stickleback I'm fishing with a poacher's pocket it's a mini reel and rod and the latter is telescopic as well so it folds down to just a few inches not only is it a great way of fishing but it's also very practical for places like this you wouldn't get a standard rod into swims such as I'm in right now I have got four pound line on the reel although the business end I've got a decent section there of one pound six ounce fluorocarbon see that shot there that goes into the brook and then the maggot swirls around naturally and as soon as it hits the water the sticklebacks are onto it when you look into the brook you can't necessarily see evidence of fish however it's when you drop the bait in that you see all these little fish and that maggots come off I couldn't have up that one very well could I you see all these little fish darting from cover they're amazing how they camouflage themselves hide away under leaves even that are on the bed of the brook they have to because they will have predators lots of things want to eat fish including other fish however having said that in this brook certainly where I am now the three spine stickleback rule supreme I'm having some great fun this morning just a, a short session a flying visit so to speak lots of fish in fact something on every cast many of them coming off for the reasons I've explained earlier but when they make the bank that's great this will be my last cast now because I got to go to work this morning so I'll be home shower changed on my way to the day job I do like to fish every day though if I can and this is where things like this come into their own stickleback fishing on a tiny brook very close to where I live minimal amount of tackle you can get yourself a few fish I'm actually on I think it's about 11 at the moment I haven't really been counting but I want to catch one more oh that's a tiny oh that was the tiniest one you've ever seen it was just marginally bigger than the maggot it was hanging on and it is great to see fish of that size
because it shows that there's been a, a successful breeding season here. I've had one or two decent fish as well today. Always great to catch. Let's get that final one though, shall we? For the camera. Oh, I thought that was it. I think it was uh, a small leaf. <laughs> Just as I pulled and I saw movement in the water. I've switched to a red maggot. Normally I go with white because of visibility. It is sight fishing. However, so clear. Red maggot, no problem at all. A nice three spine stickle back to end the session with and of course it is a session isn't it it's as much an angling session as if you were fishing for 40 pound carp on a gravel pit it's all about enjoyment and angling whether you're targeting the mini species like i am today or the monsters of the piscatorial world ultimately it's about enjoying yourself i've certainly done that now as i've said already Let's get home and on my way to work. <laughs>